Alright, what is going on guys? YZ0669 here, doing a little solo video for today. Um, might notice that I'm playing Minecraft right now. I'm going to be doing a let's build, I don't, I really don't know how, what I'm going to call this video yet. So let's build, kind of going to show you how to build some cool stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to make this a series yet or not. I might just do some random episodes here and there. Or maybe this might be the only episode, I don't know. Anyway, today we are going to build a fisherman's hut. Um, you might be wondering why I'm doing Minecraft. I actually, I'm a big fan of Minecraft. I really do enjoy playing it, and I figure, you know, something I could try out here. Might as well give it a whirl. So yeah, this this is a fisherman's hut. Uh, there's a couple different ways that you can build it. Uh, there, I have two different two different types of houses right here. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna build this one over here, and then I'll just show you kind of what kind of what else you can do to it up with like how I did this one. All right, so first off, you're gonna start a platform that is eight by five. Go five wide. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're just gonna fill this in real quick. Oh man, I'm really bad at controlling with the uh, computer. I'm used to playing the Xbox version. I'm always on the Xbox version. I rarely come on here to on the computer version. And then what next what you want to do is on this end piece you're going to want to go up two and then have a two block space and you're going to put a fence there and build the fence too high. And then on the end here just uh, yeah do do that with fences. Then what you want to do is you want to come here and do stone bricks there and then another stone bricks there and then block block and then take your wooden stair. You can use any wood you want to. I chose spruce because I like the darker I like the darker look to it. But you can use whatever kind of um, whatever kind of wood you want to. It's really your choice. And you're just gonna keep building it up like so. And then fill it in with the bricks like that, and like that. Right now, nope, like this. And you're gonna take a stone slab and put it on top like that. And then we're just gonna leave this for right now, and we're gonna come back to this. So then, what you want to do is you want to come over here, and you want to leave a three block space in between, so count one, two, three, and that fourth block, place that there. I'm just going to kind of want to do something like that, it's like an L shape, or like a square shape, and then take your fences, and build up like that. This is going to be like a, an awning for your, for the building, or for, this will be where you put your boats, yeah, where you pretty much just house your boats at. And you want to take your stairs and build over like so. I can get around the slab. Nope. And I'm not gonna have to. Alright, just like that. And then come over here. Do the same thing on this side. Except this end one right here, you're gonna leave open. Or you can you can put something there for now, but we're actually gonna take that out. So that we won't get to that till later. And then on the inside, what you wanna do is leave an indent. You wanna indent it in one, so I leave this first space open and build in like that. And then take your stairs again, go out one, go over here on the other side, the same thing, go out one, and then fill it back in. And then for this top part, you can do it a couple different ways. Oops, I need to get my slabs out. Um, you could do just slab it off like that, or what I like to do is extend that out by one, take that out, and put a stair backwards like that. Kind of gives it a little extra something something on the top there so it doesn't look so plain. I like, I like to do that with all the edges of the houses. Alright, so then what you want to do, let me just double check real quick so I know when I'm on the right thing. Okay. So, even with, the, with uh, this line right here, you want to build up three high, I believe. Yeah, three high, and then space this out two. 
when you come out even with the end of that first of this block right here place two stone brick stairs and then you're just gonna pretty much just build up from here so just like that like that but not like that at all and then fill it in this is gonna be the entryway into the house eventually once we get there and then you're gonna take stone br stone brick like so and this is actually gonna be wood I'm using like I said I'm using spruce wood but you can you could add, you could use whatever kind of wood you want if you want to use jungle wood whatever you want to use and then just take your wood and we're gonna do a two wide path here up until right there to the end of this stone right there and then you're just gonna fill in a wall right there fill it in all right here and then take your stone bricks or your stone slabs again fill it in and what you want to do is you want to break that off like I said we were going to and go up four three, four I'm going to take that off real quick uh, now what's the command for it you know what, screw it we'll, we're going to do this in the rain there will be men here Actually, I'll just go sleep real quick. I got a bed over here. I'm just go sleep it off, and then the rain will be gone. So yeah, um, kind of want to do. I might get into more Minecraft stuff as the channel goes on. I really do. I I love Minecraft. I love playing Minecraft. I love everything about it. So you might start seeing more and more Minecraft things coming up. We're still gonna do, you know, the typical let's plays, but. Uh, I'm going to try to get more Minecraft in. Alright, so then what you want to do, this is, this is going to be your doorway into the house. You're going to take two stone uh, stone bricks. I guess they're, they're chiseled stone bricks. And those are the kind of bricks I'm using right now. And then take your stairs like so, and this is going to be the entryway. You want to come over here, and you're going to want you to do a two wide wall of stone right there. And then uh, put a pillar of the wood and like that. And then you go five. It's gonna be three wide in the middle, but five wide total. And then go up like this, and like this. And then you take your stone bricks again, fill the whole thing in, and these two bricks right here, they're gonna. Take them out and you put a glass pane. You can use, you can use the block if you want to. It really doesn't matter what you use right here. But I like the uh, I like the panes better. They look nicer. Then what you want to do is just kind of on the, all the edges put a block of wood. And then this spot right here, you can you can leave it open. I'm gonna fill it in though, just so I can show you. Uh, how I how I built the inside house as well, just to give you guys a simple idea. This house is very versatile. You can um, you do a lot of things with it. It doesn't just have to be plain like this. There's a lot of different things you can do to it. And that's I think that's that's kind of why I like it a lot actually. All right, and then you come over here and you're gonna do you're pretty much gonna mirror uh, mirror this side, just like how you did it on the other side. I'm going to do that to the doorway and bring this all the way down if you want to. I'm just going to bring this all the way down just to keep it even. And then the stairs are going to go here, not upside down. Um, I'll just show you this way. I did it like you can do it like this with the uh, with another entryway. But I'm gonna, I'll show you guys, and after I'm done with this one, this is just the real basic version of the house. I'll show you in that house right there what else you can do with it. So yeah, I have this entry right way right here. I'm gonna do the same thing with just like on the other side, two wide stone pillar wall. There's a stone wall, and then the wood planks. Build it down. 
just like that. And this is pretty much the basis of your house right here. This is pretty much all the framework that you need to do for it. That's actually one too high. And just like on the other side, fill her in. And then the two, the window, three across, one on top. I'll take the wood, boom, 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 boom. Just like that. So now we really pretty much have the, this is the basis of the house. This is pretty much it. This is all the frame, this is all the hard work. Well, almost all the hard work. You still gotta do the roof. Roof sucks. No matter what roof and job you do, it always sucks. So yeah. And then you're gonna come up here. Actually gonna delete this section right here. Fill this in with stone. And then you're gonna do pretty much the same thing as with the other windows, two high, three across, one on top. You can go right here, fill this in like that. Do a wood layer on top. Just like that. And this is actually going to go up one more, like so. And there we go. That is, is a framework for the house. Um, like I said, you can fill this in if you want to. I'm going. You don't have to fill it in. I'm going to though, just because that's how I built the house originally. So we're just going to fill it in. I don't know why I keep jumping. And I want to move. Also on this side, um, I did a three by two window right in. Right in the dead center of it. You can do that. You can do a bigger window if you want to, or you don't have to have any window. I mean, it's really up to you on this build on how you want to do it. All right, so now we'll start the roof. Go over here, not put upside down stairs, like so. And then you're gonna want to go one more off the end, not like that, like this. Actually, this is good. And just keep following the same pattern. Pattern. Got the whole thing. I actually did something wrong. I did. Oh god damn. I I keep doing that. I've done that the last last couple times I've built it too. Instead of going three across, you keep it like this. You just go up one like that. So it's different from the other windows, but it works. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just going to skip ahead. I'm going to do this real quick and then I will see you guys when I'm done. I know that no one else, no one wants to watch me roof. I don't even want to watch me roof at all, but I still have to do it. So yeah, I'm going to do a quick jump cut and I will be back with you guys in a second. Alright, I'm back. Uh, we finished the roof and I left this part open to show you guys just what I did. I uh, took the slabs and just slab the top off like so and then when I got to the end here I went out one more like so and did the backward stair thing like that and then you do the same exact thing on this side I just, I'm just i going to do one more in just on the sides I like that it's extended one out one more out on top I don't know, I, I kind of like that, I guess, I don't know. I'm not going to change it, though. I'm already there. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, you guys came back just to see me struggle a little bit. Alright, there we go. So the roof's done. Uh, the, uh, the outside is done as well. It's all nice and closed in. And come down here, and then you're going to just fill in the sides right here with uh, stone bricks. Or any other brick that you're choosing, doesn't matter what you use. Just this area right here is just going to be where the boats are going to go. You know, drive your boat in, boom, and you swim out. All right, now coming here, um, I'm going to use oak wood for the floor just to give it a nice little change of color. 
I don't know. I like oak wood. I think it looks good for floors. I tried, I did spruce wood in the original, or when I first tried to build this, and I didn't like it that much. Oh, it was too, it's too dark. House is just too dark in general. So I'm like, you know what? Nice little lighter brown color looks really nice in here. All right, and then um, just a little added thing I did. I just kind of went like this with the uh, fences. I don't know. It looks kind of cool, I guess. You don't have to do that. It's just a little something, something extra you could do. But it's really just up to you on how you want to do the inside of the house. I'll just I'm going to show you a couple little things that I did. So I'm clear out my inventory real quick. Put some new stuff in. Uh, what else do I need? This one. No. What did I do? This one. Okay. First off, we're going to light this place up. Nice and bright. Okay, so just a couple little things you can do. I mean, you could put like do that and do like a flower pot or something. Something nice, looking pretty. You can come over here and do an L shape. Take your stair or your fences and go like that. Come around here. Add some stairs in. Light this place up. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, you can. I guess you can leave this open. That's neat. Never noticed that before. I guess you can leave this whole thing open, huh? Oh, look at that. You can. Except it's too. It's not the right size. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, if you want to open this up, the way I did it in the original, I closed this. It was only just this area right here. So you can do, you can put a bed here, a couple chests. Then you can come over here and do something like, it was not like that, like this. Get slabs, do a bottom slab across the top. This will be still covered up. Cover that up real quick. Like so. This will be covered up. Like that. And you know, you got a nice little room down here. I mean, you don't have to. You can leave all this open and do something with it. But um, I, like, I like a nice little room in here. It's nice. You can you could use it in the as like a house house in a survival world or something if you want to use this much um this much material. And it really only works if you're by a river like this. Plus, there's no doors. But um, if you wanted to use it in a survival world, like as your actual house, you would use this one. This is my modified one I did. So what I did, I pulled the stairs out one block. So instead of having them indented, even with this pillar, I pulled them out one and put the door there. And you can walk in, you know, whatever. This one, I put a uh, chimney in here. I don't know, I thought they looked kind of neat. All I did was took uh, brick stairs, put one normal ways, and then three across upside down, and one put normally set. It's just some iron, an iron, or iron bars, a piece of netherrack in the back. I just kind of built this chimney up and go outside. Also, I put a deck on this one too. This is a nice little small deck. You can go out on instead of just leaving the pathway just one way like that. Um, I built the chimney up like this. Just, um, just like this. Just kind of like an, an axe. Put bars across like that. You know, just just little aesthetic things you can add to it to make it uh, functional. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you like what you see, like always, leave a like, rate, and subscribe. Uh, in the comment section, if you want to, you can leave me suge some uh, suggestions on other builds you want to do, or you know, other um, suggestions for videos that you want me and Kyle to do, or if you want to do, have me do more solo ones like this, you know, just whatever. Just let us know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, we will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Mm -hmm.